Hi, folks. Uh, I want to tell you, it's really been an experience for me to be here. Signing in the regulations 2504 only means that the law is now enforceable. We have to make sure that the laws are now enforced. And only we can ensure that. And let me tell you, this, this victory would not have been achieved without a great deal of support from the outside community. The whole handicapped community in San Francisco has really been behind us. And I'd like to give special thanks to the people from the Inter International Hotel and the United Farm Workers Organizing Committee. Because without their help and without their support, we would not have lasted in there as long as we have. And the IAM. Right on. What 504 means to the disabled community in terms of those of us that are minorities, Asians, and all of us means that the double stigma of that of being disabled and being a person of a person of color is now at least one step closer to being erased. And I think that the only way that we can ensure that that happens is if we keep fighting because the spirit is here and the city and the whole nation knows that we are dead serious about this whole thing now. And like somebody said, we are not asking for charity anymore. We're demanding our rights. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bruce. Linda Gill? We won because we were here. We went through a long, hard struggle, which should have never been necessary. We should have had our civil rights from the very beginning as any other American citizen. We shouldn't have had to come here and sit in a building for three and a half weeks and beg government people to talk to us and to hear what we were saying and to understand that we were American citizens also and that we deserve the rights that were supposed to be ours. But we did have to, and we were strong, and we did it. I feel I have struggled all my life to have the same rights as anyone else in this country. When I was a little girl, I had to go to another city and stay in a boarding school because the schools in my town did not have readers and I didn't have all the equipment I needed. And I am so glad that from now on, our children and your children are going to be able to go to schools in their neighborhoods like everyone else is. Our victory, it was a long struggle, but we seemed to pull through. I feel extremely happy that we've won this victory because it's going to give me more opportunities. I feel that people are beginning to understand the disabled better, which makes me very happy. And it's been a great experience in working with the 504 Coalition because I have learned a lot about myself and I feel that I'm as good a person as anybody else. Right on. Right on. Uh, the next speaker is Ron Washington, one of the demonstrators who has been inside the building. I should have spoke before I had two cups of champagne. It's all right, Ron. But it's wonderful, it's really wonderful being here today among all of my brothers and sisters that are disabled, among all of my brothers and sisters that are gay, among all of my brothers and sisters, regardless of what color they may be. I just want to say that coming from the civil rights movement that took place in the 60s and coming into this makes me realize the importance of staying together in a unified way because we have 504 today, but implementation, just like the 1964 Civil Rights Act, has not been fully achieved or fully experienced. We have got to work even harder than what we have thus far. 
and let's stay together. Let's continue loving each other. We are the strongest political force in this country. We are young, we are sensitive, and we are intelligent. Let's stay together. Let's continue loving each other. I'm a little drunk with the champagne. <laughs> fresh polluted air. And my wheelchair did this thing again, folks. This wheelchair should be given an H-E-W burial. <laughs> First battle has been won, but the war is not over. We've been forced by the leaders of this country to break the law by taking over the H-E-W building. I think, I think it's important that people do see Adam because this is where our strength came from. What we are really fighting for is possibly by the time that Adam is old, like I feel today, but young also like I feel today, his struggle will be a little bit easier. I also want to say that since I've been come back from Vietnam, I found something out. I found out that when you talk about strength, you also talk about tenderness. And I've, sh I've seen that shown here among all of us. And I hope we don't lose that when we leave. Thank you, Chad.